Recently, I installed a fairly aggressive camshaft and a set of long tube headers in my C6 Corvette. If you missed it, I also took the time to produce a set of highly detailed videos showing virtually every step involved in the cam and header upgrade in case that's something you're considering doing to your C6. The next step in the process for me was to tune the C6 using HP tuners to make sure that it starts and idles. Then I moved on to low speed operation and drivability, followed up by wide open throttle performance tuning. If you're new to this sort of thing and you're just adding headers to your C6, it'll probably run okay on the stock tune. However, I do suggest that you do some tuning to optimize it for the headers, especially if you've added a cold air intake first, like so many people do. If you're adding a very mild camshaft and that's all you're doing to your C6, and I mean a very mild camshaft, it'll probably run okay as well on the stock tune, but once again, I highly recommend that you tune it for that new camshaft to get the most performance and drivability out of your investment. If you've decided to take the plunge and you've installed a mild camshaft, a set of long tube headers, and a cold air intake, chances have risen significantly that it's not going to run very well, and you really do need to either tune it yourself or pay to have it tuned in order to get all of the performance that you paid for. And finally, if you've installed even a moderately aggressive camshaft all by itself, it's likely not going to idle and drive very well. You're not going to get the performance you paid for, so you're going to want to tune it or have it tuned. So just for fun and as an experiment, let's go ahead and start up my C6 with the fairly aggressive camshaft that I installed. The specs are on your screen, the long tube headers, and I'll be using the tune that I was running right before I installed the cam and headers just to see if it'll even start and idle and what the drivability would really be like. But before we do that, this is the kind of video that you will not see on the CNS Corvette's YouTube channel. So if you like this kind of video and you'd like to see more content like this, hit that thumbs up below and subscribe to let me know. Okay, I heard a lot of clicking going on, so thanks to those of you who have just subscribed. For the rest of you guys, it's super easy, it doesn't cost anything, and there's no commitment, so go ahead and do that now. Now let's fire up the C6 and see what happens. Just died again. I'm gonna call it. It's just running too crappy. Although the C6 actually idled fairly well, not surprisingly, it really wasn't drivable using the old tune once the camshaft and headers were installed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and break out HP tuners where I'll be making several adjustments to the key areas of the tune having to do with idle that are most out of whack with the new setup. 
The first thing we need to address is the idle RPMs. The stock cam will idle all day long at 650 RPMs, but the new cam, again, due to its increased intake and exhaust duration, as well as increased overlap, simply cannot be asked to idle this low. And this is a trade-off that I willingly made in exchange for more power in the upper RPM ranges. So the first thing we'll be doing is bumping up the idle by 175 RPMs, and we'll do this in three different areas. First is within the base set point tab, where I'll go ahead and add 175 to every cell. This brings the new idle RPM up to 825. Next, I'll do the same thing under startup, park neutral, and again under startup in gear. Then I'll go ahead and do this to the minimum set point VSS, which is the target idle when the C6 is actually moving. And finally, I'll go ahead and make the idle RPM change under adaptive idle, minimum RPM reference as well. Next, under airflow general, I'm gonna go ahead and change the percent max and percent max break up to 3.5%, which will increase the amount of maximum throttle the computer is able to command at idle. Now I'll go ahead and increase the base running airflow mainly due to the higher RPMs the engine will be idling at in and around idle. I essentially added 5 grams per second to everything 800 RPMs and lower. Then I interpolated upwards towards 3000 RPMs to smooth out the transition areas. Here are my before numbers and here are my after numbers. Next, under engine airflow startup, I increased every cell by 3 grams per second, again due to the higher idle RPM we are targeting. Under engine airflow cranking VE, I changed the volumetric efficiency from 100% to 80% as the low RPM areas that the engine is at when attempting to start has decreased efficiency due to the new cam. And finally, under engine spark idle adaptive spark control, I multiplied the overspeed and the underspeed ignition timing correction by 70% and I did this to tame down how aggressively the computer reacts when trying to bring the idle back in line, either up or down, towards the 825 RPMs we are targeting. And now after that handful of relatively simple changes to make, I'll go ahead and flash the new tune to the C6's computer, and I think we'll be able to start it up and go for a test drive, but of course we'll be sure to keep it at part throttle for now.
Well, that went a heck of a lot better. And as you just saw, with a few targeted adjustments to the C6's tune, it actually has pretty decent street manners. That having been said, the idle tuning is only about 80% done. And in my opinion, it's just step one to a comprehensive and complete tuning process. Now that the C6 can somewhat reliably start, idle, and run, I can move on to the mass airflow side of the tuning process, followed by the speed density side, and it's the latter that takes the most time because it's a little bit more complicated and acquiring the data needed to make the adjustments just takes a lot longer. If there's enough interest based upon how this video does in terms of views, subscribers, and thumbs up, I may make part two where I'll go through the detailed process of tuning the mass airflow side of the system on the C6. So be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up if that's something you would like to see. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I appreciate your making it to the end. Hopefully you learned a few things. And most of all, thanks for watching.